Hi, star people. I'm Deborah Bird. I'm here to tell you about the brightest planet, Venus, now at its very brightest in the morning sky for all of 2025. Astronomers call this a greatest brilliancy for Venus. And this morning was also when that smiley face moon was supposed to happen. Did you see that go past on social media this week? I'll show it to you. The smiley face moon. This was everywhere on social media. Mark your calendar for April 25th. So that was this morning. Uh, and was it true? We were just talking yesterday about this with Dr. Phil Plate, the bad astronomer, about how can you tell when something supposedly scientific uh, just isn't true? And Phil said that what he does is main, maintain a a healthy skepticism. And I mean, have you ever seen anything in the sky that looked like this? Not really. So yeah, it's good to be skeptical. But we've got photos coming in from our community of what it really did look like uh, in the sky this morning. And I want to show you some of those. So Turns out people did see something that looked kind of like a smiley face, uh, sort of. This photo is this morning sky as seen by Roberto Burkle in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Yay. Uh, this morning's crescent moon and these two morning planets, Venus and Saturn, do kind of form a smiley face pattern. Uh, if you're looking for that, it's not as dramatic as the meme that's been circulating and I'll show you that again. There's the meme. So it didn't exactly look like that, but it looked, uh, you know, kind of smiley face-ish. So not entirely false. And here's another uh, photo. You can see there's two little dots there above that moon making the eyes of the smiley face. This one is from our friend Carl D. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name <laughs> and insult him. Uh, Carl has been uh, contributing photos to Earth Sky for years. He's in Quakertown, Pennsylvania, and he wrote the cosmic smiley face that was all over the internet. Not exactly what was advertised, but it was better. So was it better? I think what Carl means is that seeing anything in the actual night sky is better than seeing it on the internet or seeing it in a photo. Because, you know, he's, it looks like to me, he's on a beach and he's standing out there on this great dark beach and he's hearing the sound of the waves crashing and he's smelling all the night smells and he's waiting for this little moon and these two planets to rise up over his eastern horizon. And I bet it's very peaceful out there. So that was this morning and the smiley face moon. And you would have had to be in the Americas to see that. We looked at it yesterday in Stellarium. Let me show you the address for Stellarium. This is the online planetarium software that we recommend and our editor in London pointed out yesterday that from London, the moon would be much closer to the planets, so you wouldn't get that smiley face effect. And this just in, uh, we got this photo from Pakistan uh, this morning, and you can see that the moon is above the planets in the east before sunrise. And why does it look different? It's because the moon never stops moving in orbit around Earth. So over the time it took Earth to rotate around to where we in the Americas were seeing these planets and this moon in our early morning sky today, the moon had moved. Okay, so maybe uh, you've heard us say that Earth Sky has a new streaming platform. <clears throat> And this platform lets us display your comments and questions like this one. Gloria, hi. Uh, she's telling us that it was cloudy in Wyoming this morning. 
So what that means is that you could ask us questions and we would love to answer your questions about anything that's going on in the night sky or astronomy. Uh, I've got Marcy Curran, Earth Sky's voice of the night sky is here backstage to answer any question that, uh, that, that you guys might have that I can't answer. So, so please ask us any questions that you might have. So back to Venus. Venus is bright. Uh, it went between the Earth and Sun on March 22nd, and afterwards it zoomed into our morning sky. So you'll find it uh, in the east before sunrise now. It's been very bright and very noticeable for some weeks now. And at greatest brilliancy, on April 27th, Venus will shine at magnitude minus 4.7. That's super bright brighter than all other objects in the sky except the sun and moon. This is the brightest that Venus will appear in our morning sky for all of 2025. But do you have to see it exactly on April 27th? No. In fact, Venus always outshines uh, all other objects in the night sky except for the sun and moon. It's just that in late April and early May of 2025, around the time that Venus is brightest. It'll appear low in the east before sunrise. It'll possibly be twinkling because you're seeing it so close to the horizon. So you're having to look at it through an extra thickness of Earth's atmosphere. And it'll be hovering there before sunrise, looking very eerie. And a lot of people will report it as a UFO. So Venus is just a hair less bright now than it was at its greatest brilliancy in the evening sky this past Valentine's Day, February 14th. And again, Venus went between the Earth and Sun on March 22nd, and that's when it entered the morning sky. So Venus won't look this bright to us again in the evening, until September 22nd of 2026, and it won't look this bright to us again in the morning until November of 2026. So why is Venus so bright now? This diagram shows you the reason. Venus orbits one step inward from Earth, and when it goes between the Earth and Sun, we see it in a crescent phase, because it's a lighted half or day side is facing mostly away from us. So how does this crescent Venus manage to look brighter than the fuller Venus that we see at other times? Um, as you can see on this diagram, it's because it's closer to us. So if you looked at Venus through a telescope now, you'd see it as a crescent, but a very big crescent. So it just takes up more space on our sky's dome now than it did, say, six months ago. Uh, and Venus goes between the Earth and Sun every 19 and a half months. And right now, as we speak, Venus is speeding along in orbit at 22 miles per second. That's in contrast to Earth's speed of 18 miles per second. So Venus is fleeing ahead of us right now. And that crescent Venus is getting smaller and smaller and smaller in our sky. And that's why Venus's uh, big brightness of right now is going to start dimming. So greatest brilliancy for Venus is a combination of those two things. It's a combination of how big the crescent Venus is in our sky and how much of the illuminated crescent or day side of Venus we see. So when you're out there looking at Venus, remember that we're riding on a planet going around the sun at 18 miles per second. And there are other planets relatively near us in space. And we often see them in our night sky too. They tend to be bright. And Venus is the brightest of all, brightest in the morning sky right now. 
uh, in late April, 2025. So that's it for today. And please don't forget to hit share, like, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I'm Deborah Bird, One Earth, One Sky, Earth Sky.